Hello everyone and welcome back to Earthbound Randomized where I have one last faint glimmer of hope. I still need one more thing to beat the game and that thing is the teleport to Dalam or really just any sort of passage to Dalam. And so between episodes I was racking my brain trying to remember who else in this game will give me an item. I remember seeing Apple Kid when we looked at this scene there's Apple Kid. Uh, in the in the Lost Underworld, I, it, that may have gotten cut because uh, of Mike issues last episode. Electron donuts work together to complete phase disorder. Okay. Indicating presence of enemies in the Lost Underworld. Oh wait. So I thought maybe... Probably won't send you like it did last time. Okay. So anyway, with with Apple Kid, I was like, oh, but normally you get the Star Storm Omega here. Maybe it's the teleport to Delam. Please. Oh, God. You're truly excellent. I'll give you this power. Oh, teleport to Delam. Teleport to <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I was like, he's giving me a power. It's a teleport. I can already go there. I don't know where to go now. <laughs> um, am I able to leave here? I've never had that come up before. Is that a thing? Okay, good. Cause I, also, I had saved just in case I was stuck there forever. Okay. I can go to the Lost Underworld now. So normally you get Dalam by doing the magic cake thing. That gave me magic can't. And didn't do the whole poo thing. How do I trigger that? You uh, please send me to Dalam. Nothing. Okay. I'm like, will the boat guy maybe take me there? I'm I'm grasping at straws here. Because you normally it's just it's like just given to you. That is such a rough teleport to not. You get like the lost underworld, like almost doesn't even matter. Get on this boat. Do you want to sail seas to Scaraba? No. Is there like another boat guy? You? No? Okay. Man, so there's just like, there must be a key item somewhere that I'm just missing. Clearly, the only logical course of action is to come back here and just, just run through the game. And see what I missed. So the book was just there on the shelf all along. That's fine. No other item is given there. All right, let's just start from Ness's house. Like we're waking up, meteorite hit, we're in our PJs. I'm 
also like, did I maybe get like so far that now someone I've already talked to will give me things? Okay, wake up, go to Tracy's room, take the item, which we already did. Do I have anything to give you? Um, here, have a cloak of kings and a rock candy. And uh, that's probably good. Monkey's love, I'll probably never, uh, rabbit's foot, don't care about that. Carrot key. Alright, what do I have in here? That's it, eh? Your HP sucker, Tilly Noodles. Yeah! I mean, the teleport wasn't gonna be in there. Yeah, you're just gonna give me some hot pot. Which was delicious, by the way. But, uh, Mom, do you know how to get to Delam from here? Or anywhere, really? How to get to Delam from anywhere in the world? Wait, at this point, you guys might just be the strongest force in the world, don't you think? Yeah. Hold on. No, it wouldn't work like that. I was like... Maybe... Maybe three with the ship? Okay. This might be the worst way to do it. I'm like, alright, the ideas are coming to me as we're going, so maybe I just see those, and in between, I'll just start running through the game as normal. So I'm gonna check this out. If this isn't anything, we'll go back, we'll go to Pokey's house. See if any ideas come to me, if not, we'll go up to the meteorite. Please let there be a spaceship here. <sighs> Could you set up a travel agency to Delam? I know, I know four people who would sign up for your services. Three people, probably. I don't think we could get Jeff to go. Okay, back to back to on it. So I'm pretty sure we already got the soundstone, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to Picky's house, talk to everybody. I mean, now he's dead, so. Bear, now I am the bear who scares you. Oh, I'm not gonna take that from from a tree. Okay. Yeah, Buzz Buzz is gone. Nobody's in the house anymore, even. Picky. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Dude, that's, that's true. It's good. Do you know how to get to the lawn? Okay. Then we go up. Get some experience. Do a bear get out of the way. No, I got that. I'll deal with you in a second. He doesn't give you an item, does he? No, I don't think he does. He's just like, come look at the creepy thing in my basement. And boom, we'll mess for a while. 
Eat garlic, however. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, can you come inside? Why that beep? Jenny's because I trust you, first let's go to the basement. Did you get something from this? Is the statue actually here? Since we kind of, uh... Oh my goodness. Kind of destroyed it. I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Uh, I'm bringing my friends too. I don't trust you. Oh, he's got the statue back. Then he buy the golden statue, so I sold it off to him. Not that I needed the money. I'm a sucker for sentiment by now. Okay. That... Yeah. What? What? I I have no words. No words. I'm not even happy about it. <laughs> that doesn't normally give you anything. Right? I... I'm glad I was like goofing around. Or we would have been... Man, how long would we have been at this? That's so crazy. Alright, I'm happy again. <laughs> Why is there a flying man in here? Maybe I have a little bit stay and rest a while. Oh, alright. Be your courage. I'll remain unless you lose your courage. What? I, I, I can't explain anything that has happened this entire episode. Have some more health. I don't, I, I don't even know. I mean, I guess then I took a good approach. That's so crazy that that is a, th it's not normally a thing. And it was like, game defining thing that I needed. Oh, Stonehenge enemies. Oh no, these- all oh, those are like the- the boss one! Oh, these are like late game enemies too. What a weird mix. Magic can't bat inside, alright. Uh... We'll go all the way to the left. For a present. Just as I planned. Holy fry pan. I think is what we already have. That, I can't complain about equipment. Cause they have drowned me in really good stuff. I wonder, like... Like, how would you even know if, like, oh, we're here already. Cool. No, this isn't the one that goes here. Close. It is the one that goes to the seventh spot, though. Like, 
what was supposed to prompt me to do that? Ooh! That's gonna hurt too. Alright, I lucked out there. Let's just, uh, start off light. Damage from the flying man. Franklin badge, all right. Okay, now that's uh unbalanced in my favor, the way it should be. I want the I want the flying man to finish him off. Ah. Also, we're like. A little, little on the low level side for finishing the game. We will try though. Sword of the power of the land into his heart. What does that do for me exactly? Is that just now you can beat the game? Need to visit eight sanctuaries. Okay. I have everything I need now to beat the game. Back to Saturn Valley. Like I said, we're a little under leveled. I'm hoping that won't be an issue. Let's save just in case that is an issue. So I think that's why I was getting wrecked by those enemies in Magicant is those are like things you normally faced in like the 70s. Yeah, I'm curious if this is still like a point of no return. Yeah, are you, can we, can you get out of my way? Oh my god, I hate you. Don't tell the Andonuts at Saturn Valley. Uh, how about our living things tonight? Yeah. But they don't have hearts, and I don't know what absorbed the power of the land their heart means. <laughs> Do you know anyone who has done that? Yes. Excellent. I'll transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot into the past. Can I bring my flying man with me? Ah, oh, they, they updated the scene. Good. You know that feeling you get when you're like, I bet my flying man isn't coming with me. I'm getting that. I'm getting a little bit of that right now. There we go. Going back into the past. Curious. Who have we not fought? Kind of lost track. Oh. You gotta be kidding. This is. The <gasps> I know where I haven't. I never went to Dungeon Man. Hey, my Flying Man's with me. The Flying Man is with me, though. So that's good, at least. Wow, 
Wow, these have a lot of health. Yeah, they don't normally have that much. Killed him with his own lightning. Rust promoter, that's helpful. Man! I'm so confused by this, the stat... Like, randomization? Is it, ra is it truly random? Starstorm Omega, that'll do. Because there's no way these things had this much health. Ooh, that's that was a bad round. It, everyone hit and it was still like an awful round for damage. Like anytime Lucky doesn't crit, it's bad damage. Thirty HP, that'll do. So I think the other problem I was having is I've from what I can tell, like the game's always had like catch-up mechanics for, for leveling. Where like level ups are randomized, but it will if like a stat ends up being too low, like your your odds of getting that stat up and how much it goes up by like seems to start working back in your favor. So I do wonder if that's why we're, I'm getting at least I think that's how that works. That's that's my understanding. So I'm wondering if like these like outrageous level ups are because like we just got like really screwed with level ups and that's the game oh forget that yeah i'm not fighting two exploding enemies remember the cost going up that much. I thought like Omega was that much. Is there a way to see Really should have gotten rid of like the jars of deli sauce. But couldn't use the shield. Oh, can only can only Hobbs use it. Bye, flying man. Like, I was hoping we would go first, or at the very least, not everyone would go last. Bye, flying man. Thank you for taking a few punches. I wish we had been able to use those a little bit more efficiently. bear here would be nice as well. Oh, we have so far to go. This might not even be the finale. Uh, this may 
may just get cut up into two episodes. Depending on how this goes. I think this is a get your stuff back. And dodge dinosaurs. Like, one on its own would be fine. Like, that would actually be, like, a really good source of experience, like I was talking about. Oh! Earlier, where it's like, oh, these, like, aren't... These fights aren't really worth it. Like, one dinosaur would be... Come on. Stay, 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 stay! Oh, come on. That sucks! Alright, I guess we can... It's only one psycho robot. Yeah, that's not too bad. Those level ups were uninspiring, that's for sure. Okay, you... You're fine. I can beat you. That sucks. Come on, Lucky. Dino gets a bad level up. Oh, here we go. Just top everyone off. Actually, just top Zeno off. There we go. That's probably pretty good. Uh. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, so I didn't get the Dungeon Man key, which means we never did Dungeon Man. Anything I want to do here... Shield Killer, full heal, so that's good. Also, it's a full heal, a couple life noodles. A couple life noodles. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is pretty good. Here we go! We'll see, this would be the lowest level I ever beat the game at, by like, probably 20 levels. Oh, it's the mushroom! I am surprised! Yep, nope, I bet the uh, Apple of Enlightenment couldn't have predicted this. I certainly didn't. He's just so out of place there. Hmm. I don't remember if this is a good idea or not, but... Ooh! No, that's not good. Just took all of that. Okay. Is Venus dead? He's anywhere. His own mind was destroyed by incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Hobbs is quite dead. Yep, yeah, okay. So, Bash. No, wait. Yeah, Bash. Um, cup of... Oh, that's just... That's regular cup of noodles. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that. Uh, that's... That's problem. We'll just do that. Um, just 
just try a light freeze and see what happens, and then poof, you could, uh... Yeah. No! Uh-huh. And... Shoot. Wait, what? Why? Why didn't that... Why didn't that work? What do you have for food? Hand aid? Yeah, just get yourself up and... Man, not having a group heal is gonna suck. Alright, attack. I just want to make sure this goes through. Um, give the magic tart. Oh, will that even work though? I can't remember how that part works. Um, and then heal up, uh, Venus. So that does work. Oh, good, because I know that's like sometimes that just straight up kills you. Yeah, wedding pants. Got it. We're at the point now. I like the changing color palette. Who's, uh, who's not in a good spot? Yep, there's all my cup of life noodles. Traveling entertainers! There we go. Geiga's defenses become unstable. Okay. Uh, pray again. Shoot. Defend, does that even help? Tournament winner, charging Charles Prate. I don't know what that means. Is that like a speedrunning tournament or something? Uh, life up on Zeno, because Zeno's the only one taking damage, so. The talking. <laughs> I I, I'm glad that they kind, of, they kind of sped this up a little bit. Defend. Normally five. Yeah, that's uh, that's one that normally happens. Does he have HP that I need to whittle down? Photo man. <laughs> I'm hoping they didn't change that, because we aren't... Alright, now the damage is starting to pick up. Tony and friends, okay. Yep, that's... That one's normal. 800, so her, her damage is almost catching up with the rest of the group. Yeah, just keep doing that one. Uh, no!
Some of the aliens. <laughs> All right, that's that might be the best one so far. I was afraid of that. So why didn't healing work last time? I'm gonna try it again. I was absorbed by the darkness. Yeah. That did why does that not work? What about you? Do you have a couple of life noodles? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what I entered, so it's gonna be a surprise to me. Oh, did we did I do it enough times? Oh, arrow to the knee, that's right. It asked for a, a meme. to the knee kept praying ah. <sighs> we did it yeah I thought that healing uh, like the last two healing spells were supposed to it's uh... amazing that it's the, sh the shroom <laughs> uh, the last two healings Ooh. oh uh, uh oh I hit a button uh oh Hold on. <laughs> okay, fixed it. I'm just gonna, I, I just put the controller down now. Actually, it's a little too far away. It's fine, that's fine. I don't even know what button I pressed because I don't have anything set up to do that. if it's not 100% and that would actually explain why the very first time I played this I actually just put the game on auto battle because Paula had died I won it's fantastic moonside hieroglyph copy oh this is where like everything what that's cool not that I'm gonna remember any of it Key to the shack. UFO engine, yeah. <laughs> A lot of bills from the meteor. <laughs> yeah, getting the pencil eraser early on was a big help. Teleport to Tucson, that was super helpful. Liars Manny, so that's just a thing. That's so crazy to me. But anyway, I was saying, my first time playing the game, I just put it on auto battle because I didn't have a way to heal as far as I knew. Oh, I didn't do that. Not that I needed to. Uh, so everyone was dead except for, I think, uh, Pooh, who oh, doesn't get healing Omega, which I thought was the one that brought you back to life. He only gets the, the third level. So I just put on auto battle, and it you and the auto battle used that heal on Paula to bring her back, so we could do the final fight. I'm like, oh, that's how that works. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's like not 100 percent or something. The teddy bear, the Lom throne character. You don't normally get a character there though. Oh, level five. Oh, okay. Here's the bosses. Fought at level 59. <laughs> level 13 fought at 29. 13, 31, yeah, probably why that was easy. 13 and 31. 16 and 32. 18, we fought at 46. 20, 30, all right, that's not as bad. 21, 32. 26, 46. 29, fought at 28, okay. So that wasn't too, like, out there. 40, fought at 38, see, we did. 43, fought 50 and 56, yeah. Here we did kind of wipe those out. Fought at 35. All right, so I did pretty good there. Fought at 67. 58 fought at 49. That was kind of, that one kind of like was in my favor. 64 beat at 53. Level 70 
74. Fought at 60. Oh, this is like how much time had passed. I didn't do them in any sort of order. So I'm curious what uh, final time. Oh, eight hours? That's actually not too bad. No problem here is 38. <laughs> Teleport box three. So I wasn't like too under level. None of the kids remembered to brush their teeth. <laughs> and now they're zombies. Cool. The team that put together the the mod, uh, thank you to all these people. This was, this was a lot of fun. I gotta say, uh, I, I don't know how I was supposed to know to go to Liar Exaggerate and actually get a thing there. Uh, I, I don't know if that was maybe like in a, in a readme somewhere, which I don't really like to look at that stuff before. Like I like to go in blind. Um, uh, so that, that like, yeah, I'm sure that information was probably somewhere, but that's, uh, that was tough. That was tough because there's not normally an item there, so I don't know, like, I, maybe I, I needed to talk to more people. Maybe someone I would have talked to might have pointed me in that, in that direction, and that was kind of the goal. Um, but, I mean, especially now that I know that that's a thing, like, to come in and, and do this again, I think, would be a lot of fun. Um, especially since there are a lot of options that I could have randomized and didn't. Just because I didn't know how ridiculous it was going to get. So, yeah, I would definitely run this again. This was a lot of fun. Um, you know, for me, it was it's just hard to figure out where, where, like, I was intended to be, um, and some of that comes down to, so, you know, we saw, like, the, the Frankie Steinmark 2, I was, like, under-leveled for that, technically, but, also, it's not a very hard boss to begin with, so, like, trying to gauge, like, your power level was, was a little bit difficult, um, But yeah, I mean, like, for the most part, you just, you, you figure it out. It's like any video game, like, or any RPG, anyway. So, I don't know, I think there... No, it kind of did that, didn't it? Well, it seemed like it, for a while, it was grouping, like, groups of enemies together. Like, Summers had a lot of, like, Onet enemies, but that didn't seem to hold up entirely. So I'm wondering if that's something I could randomize further. Like, I'm just thinking of all these things that I could try uh, if we were to do this again. So I'm, I'm curious to know your thoughts in the comments if this is something you'd like to see me do again, maybe down the, the road. It would probably be a little while. Uh, I don't want to necessarily just do the same randomizer over and over again, but like, I don't know, c to come back to this in a year I think could be fun. Uh, I know one randomizer I really want to try out next is uh, Dragon Quest IV. That's another game where I... Like, I've played it a ton. It's been a while, especially since I played the original. So I think that could be fun. I don't know how well it, that game will randomize. Like, they did a really good job uh, with this randomizer. I, I was genuinely impressed. Because I didn't know how well a kind of linear JRPG would uh, randomize. Because typically you're going from point to point and there's not like a lot of sequence breaking you can do so like the work they did on that for this mod was amazing like the idea that uh, basically everything was kind of seemed like it was kind of in its final state meaning it seemed like uh, like one of the characters being with Monotoli because that's like where you normally get Paula for the like the last time so you get her once in the cabin but then you lose her in the department store and then you get her back in the Monotoli building so like they just set it up so that you don't get anyone 
in the cabin. Although I wonder if I could have if that had like randomized in my favor. I wonder if that's a thing. Like, could that have randomized differently? To where like I would have gotten a teddy bear from Anatoly and Venus could have been in the cabin. So uh, I thought that was really well done. You know, the fact that I think it gives you a couple teleports. <laughs> that picture's awesome. A couple places you can teleport to to get started. Because like I said, if I had to go to Magic Camp right away, like, that would have been impossible. Like, even at the level I was at, trying to do that with just one person, there's no way. There's no way that would have happened. Like, that would have been just brutal. So yeah, I'm kind of curious to see, like, Dragon Quest 4, I think, is the next one I want to try. I don't know if that will necessarily be right after this, but it's, it's one I'm looking at. And I get, I'm curious to see how, they, how well they can randomize it, just because it's a very linear game. You can, I think, towards the end sequence break a little bit. But, like, the first, I don't know, like, 10 hours, I'm wondering if it's going to be more or less the same. Or is this? Uh, this is great. I, I feel like it would be different every single time I tried to play it. Right? Because you're going to start in a different city. You're going to start with different teleports. What's going to open up, you know, where you can go is going to be very different based on, like, what you get from your your uh, special item drops. And you wrote this. I, it was against my will. I don't know memes. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I think that's what we're gonna we're gonna go out on arrow to the knee. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments if you did, and if you'd like to see me, maybe you do this again down the road. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with with the series. Really means a lot. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.